fishing fans, this is Debbie Hansen for TakeMeFishing.org and today we're going to talk about the essential pieces of fly fishing gear for beginners. First and foremost, we've got our fly rod and a six or seven weight fly rod is going to be fine for most freshwater and inshore saltwater fishing applications. This happens to be a seven weight fly rod that I've got right here. Very versatile rod, very versatile. Your fly reel Another essential piece of fly fishing gear, your fly reel quite simply is just going to be paired with the weight of your fly rod. So if you've got a seven weight fly rod, you're going to get a seven weight fly reel. Simple stuff. And then to put on your fly reel, to start you're going to need about 100 to 150 yards of Dacron backing to put on that fly reel. And then once you have the backing on, you're going to get your fly line and your fly line again is going to be paired up with the weight of your fly rod. So if you've got a seven weight fly rod, you're going to get a seven weight line and a weight forward floating fly line is fine for beginners and most fly fishing applications. Moving on from there to your leader, a nine foot leader for beginners is just fine. That's a good average size leader or average length leader to use. And you can buy a, buy a pre-tapered leader at your fly fishing shop or local outdoor retailer, or you can buy spools of leader material like this and build your own leaders. It's completely up to you and depends on the species that you're targeting and the type of fishing that you do. So your leader material, very essential. And then moving on to your flies. And we've got here two patterns that are very versatile and popular. Two of my favorites. This is just a Clouser minnow pattern in chartreuse and white. So we've got a Clouser and we've got a topwater popping bug fly right here. Two great flies for beginners to use. From there, another piece of fly fishing gear you want to have, a pair of line snips. So when you're changing out your leader, when you're changing out flies, these line snips are going to help you snip off that leader and make quick changes to your flies or to your leader material. And then, once you catch that big fish and you bring it in and you need to take the fly out of its mouth, you're going to use a pair of forceps just like this. So this will help you safely and easily take the fly out of the fish's mouth before you release it. Moving on to our pair of polarized sunglasses. Now these are an essential piece of fly fishing gear, not only because they're gonna protect your eyes from the UV rays, but also because they're gonna cut through the glare on the water and they're really gonna help you see into the water to make those accurate casts and get those takes. Last, but certainly not least, Safety always is a priority, so you want to make sure that you've got your PFD if you're fishing from a boat, if you're wading from a river or stream, make sure you've got the right waders, always be conscious of safety, and that's it. Your essential pieces of fly fishing gear, tight lines, happy fishing. For more fishing and boating information, go to takemefishing.org.